Hi, everyone. Let's see what medicines and equipment must be in the ship's hospital. So, here is your ship's hospital. You just received plenty of medicines. And now you need to put everything in order. What medicines and equipment you must have on board you can find in the International Medical Guide for Ships, 3rd edition. The International Medical Guide for Ships you can find on the World Health Organization website if you don't have the hard copy of it on board. All ships subject to the regulations established by the International Maritime Organization IMO, and International Labor Organization ILO, must have adequate medical supplies that are periodically inspected, kept in good condition, and are ready for use whenever required. The quantities needed on board will depend on the duration and destination of the voyage, the number of crew members, and the nature of the cargo. Different communities have different methods of treatment. Items specific to national requirements and customs can be added to the list of recommended medicines and medical supplies provided at the end of this chapter. The added items, however, should not be used to replace any of the recommended medicines or medical supplies on the list, but should be integrated into the list together with detailed information about their actions and unwanted effects. Let's check the list of recommended medicines. Here you can find names, dosage, indications, contraindications, and unwanted effects. Acetylsalicylic acid is used to reduce pain, fever, inflammation, and to inhibit formation of blood clots in angina pectoris, myocardial infarction, stroke. Acyclovir. Treatment of primary or recurrent herpes simplex virus infection may be useful for severe varicella and herpes zoster, doctor should be consulted. Adrenaline. To raise blood pressure in anaphylaxis, to dilate airways in severe asthma or anaphylaxis. Amethicane 0.5% eye drops. For eye examination and procedures. Amoxicillin plus clavulinate to treat infections responsive to this antibiotic. Artemether. Treatment of severe malaria. Artemether plus lumefantrin. Treatment of malaria. Atropine, to treat slow heart rate in myocardial infarction, to treat organophosphate insecticide poisoning. Azithromycin, to treat infections responsive to this antibiotic. Ceftriaxone, to treat infections responsive to this antibiotic. Cetirazine, to treat allergy symptoms in hay fever, hives, allergic dermatitis, etc. Activated charcoal, to absorb ingested poisons. Ciprofloxacin, to treat infections responsive to this antibiotic. Oil of cloves, toothache, dexamethasone, to treat life-threatening and severe asthma, to treat anaphylaxis, to treat severe allergic reactions, diazepam, 
to treat alcohol withdrawal. Docusate with Senna or equivalent. To avoid straining in patients with anal fissure and hemorrhoids. To prevent constipation caused by opioid use. Doxycycline. As recommended in IMGS3 for the specific infection. Ethanol 70% Hand Cleanser Gel. An alternative to hand washing when hands are not obviously soiled. Ethanol 70% Liquid. To disinfect instruments and surfaces. Fluorescein 1% Strips. To detect damage to cornea, damaged area stains yellow or green. Fruzmide. To treat severe fluid retention in lungs, pulmonary edema, due to cardiac failure. Glucagon, ready to use. To treat low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, due to insulin when oral intake is impossible and intravenous glucose cannot be given. Haloperidol. To treat psychotic hallucinations and delusions. To treat severe agitation and aggressiveness. Hydrocortisone 1% Cream. To treat allergy and some other inflammatory skin conditions. Ibuprofen, to treat inflammation. To reduce mild to moderate pain, especially if associated with inflammation. Isosorbide dinitrate, to treat angina pectoris, chest pain, to treat myocardial infarction. Lignocaine 1%, without adrenaline, for local anesthesia when suturing wounds or performing minor surgery. Lopiramide. To treat symptoms of diarrhea. Mibendazole. To treat intestinal worm infections, not effective for tapeworm infection or hydatid disease. Metaprolol. To treat hypertension, high blood pressure, to treat atrial fibrillation, irregular or rapid heart rate, to treat angina pectoris, chest pain, to prevent migraine. Metronidazole. To treat infections responsive to this antibiotic. Myconazole 2% cream. To treat fungal skin infections, Midazolam. To terminate epileptic fits. Misoprostol. To prevent postpartum hemorrhage. Morphine, injectable, to reduce severe pain. To reduce pain not relieved by other analgesics. Morphine, oral. To reduce severe pain likely to last several days in patients able to eat and drink. Naloxone. To reverse effects of opioids, especially in cases of overdose. Omeprazole. To treat gastroesophageal reflux, to treat peptic ulcer disease. Ondansetron, to prevent vomiting, to prevent seasickness. Oral rehydration salts, to prevent or treat dehydration, especially due to diarrhea. Oxymetazoline 0.5%, or equivalent, to treat nasal obstruction due to allergies or viral infection. To improve sinus drainage in sinusitis. Paracetamol. To reduce pain and fever, but not inflammation.
Permethrin 1% Lotion To eliminate hair, pubic, and body lice Permethrin 5% Lotion To treat scabies Povidone Iodine Ointment 10% and Solution 10% To disinfect skin and wounds Prednisone, to treat severe asthma, to treat other inflammatory conditions, on medical advice. Salbutamol aerosol, to treat asthma, to treat chronic bronchitis, to treat emphysema, to treat other lung diseases. Sodium chloride, 0.9% infusion, for fluid replacement. Tetracycline 1% ointment, to treat minor eye infections, to prevent infection following damage to the cornea. Vitamin K, to reverse excessive or unwanted effect of warfarin or related drugs. Water for injection, reconstitution of injectable drugs provided as powders. Zytovudine plus Lamivudine Prophylaxis against HIV infection after needle stick injury Zinc Oxide Protection of irritated skin Thank you for watching. In the next video we'll see what equipment must be in your ship's hospital. So subscribe, push likes, see you in the next video.